Hello everybody, a uh, little video here of 5D, how to use the 5D to stay positive. Uh, I think so it's the right time uh, for this video. I was planning to do some completely different stuff. I have like two other videos that I line up, but it's kind of like it's not the right time. The information arrived when it was supposed to be, but it wasn't the right time. When you feel like not making the video, and something else comes up and it's more urgent, more uh, into it. It's so important to react into the energy the way it goes uh, because the flow goes and where the attention goes, right? So, um, uh, what I'm going to be talking about is it's about using your understanding in the 5D. Uh, for facing the challenges, facing the issues, facing the things uh, that goes on in life. And that way you will understand the things of the next video that I'm going to be making because you can't just make it at a, a video that it's a little bit a high level if you didn't make a video that it's kind of like a little bit more understanding. Uh, kind of like it's so hard to explain 5D, 5D things with kind of like a regular words, you know, if you're on a 5D vibrations, uh, you will understand the words, they're meaning different things. And when you have the conscious, you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, recent events here, I'm finally divorced after being six years going to hell uh, with that thing, especially the divorce is over two and a half years, almost three. Um, I will make a video on that subject, so watching it, uh, it's going to be kind of like a little bit of touch of the heart, uh, but it's necessary, and I will be making it uh, pretty soon. Uh, so that, but right now it is about uh, you to understand uh, how the 5D works for your 3D, how you to understand this part of the positiveness you heard about it, you know, give it to the universe, pass it to the universe, let the things to the universe, trust, surrender, and let go. Uh, but what it actually means, what do you actually have to do with it? And uh, it's going to be a touch for the, uh, the video that I'm going to be doing later on. It's uh, I'm probably, I'm going to be doing it tomorrow maybe, or sometimes. Uh, of it, it's gonna be titled The Secret of the Truth. Uh, so, because that's all that is, it's the secret of the truth. So, uh, you already know what I'm gonna draw. We've been talking about this over and over. And And it's a 5D, uh, you already know the stages, you know the floors of the house and you know everything and you know that everything is based out of the, the truth, the truth that goes on into it. So, um, how to stay positive though? Let's say that if you have a 3D issues right in here, what are the 3D issues based off? The 3D issue is based out of the, the lies, false, not real, suppression, say if you have a 3D issue with someone, you let it go into the feet. I'll put the universe right in here. Kind of like, like this. And we're going to put one giant U. So, if you that person lied to you or they do something false and they're not real and uh, they, they do a lot of suppressions, it will affect your 5D energy. It will affect you your 5D life, what happens is, is you have no control over that person that does the 3D actions. You have no 
control. But who's got the control? It's the universe that has the control. So even if you're staying into the 5D, when you have that understanding of the truth and realize the truth that you have no controls over, no control over, doesn't matter what the situation is, doesn't matter what the problem is, you have no control over that. With the understanding that you have in a 5D, you hang out that, that energy that it's here. You give it to the universe. Hey universe, you know what to do. You know what the best case is to do. And the universe says, okay, I will do what I can. So, sooner or later, the universe does its work. It go ahead and rearranges itself into the 3D. When it rearranges in the 3D, it creates a situation which is, for example, the lies are exposed, the false information is exposed, not real is exposed, suppression of what is exposed, and you understand who has the control. It's the universe. But you have the control inside of yourself into the 5D. You have this control of to stay positive and you say, you know what? Dear universe, that doesn't work for me. I can't deal with this 5D false life. I can't deal with this 5D false person. I can't do with that. That doesn't have any benefits of me since I am here. I'm not down there. I'm not doing any more lies. I'm not doing any more of this stuff. But universe, please, it's your baby. Let it focus into it. And that is how basically you hanging out over to the universe with knowing how this all works. But what happens is, is once this is solved, the universe creates the situations that helps you into the 5D because you're living into the truth. But what would have happened if the truth was here? Then everything else, it doesn't really matter. Why? Because none of this, it would have been happen it wasn't have the truth and you will see in the next video i'm going to be talking about this it's about the secret of the truth how it begins through the stages and what's going on with this how this involves everything how this will later on fit when you are in the relationship with someone how this works with couples into now this um if you have uh, issues in um 4D, if your problem is on a 4D. Um, the 4D is a little bit different. The 4D has got uh, a little bit more complications than the 3D because the 3D is based off the basic stuff. Uh, the 3D is not uh, kind of like a, that much complicated. It's all involved uh, the money, the physical, the ownership. Compared to the 4D, the 4D is based out of the duality. Um, that is the part of the good and bad. Uh, that is the part of positive and negative. And that is this continuous war from the one into the other. That war that doesn't have an end. And when that war doesn't have an end, that war never ends. It stays here. And you, since you're living the cycle of go on into and spinning from the good to the bad and to the ugly. You go around this circle of life. One day everything gets good, one day the thing gets bad. Then they get good, then they get bad, and they get good, and they get bad. And during this duality, it will affect your 
5D. When affects your 5D because everything is based out of the truth. The duality, it exists because the one, it's truth and the other, it's false. So what you have to do is, as you're seeking the truth inside of you, which is that is the truth right here in the middle, and if it's something, uh, some kind of situation, or some kind of uh, uh, parts inside of you, they're not truth, uh, they will create this duality of you. And again, when you have the understanding uh, from the 5D, and you're tired of this polarity going good, bad, good, bad, one day I'm good, one day I'm bad, you created this balance inside of you. And that balance is the truth, nothing else. It is nothing else. You seek in the between the, the false and the truth, what actually it's the real truth, what actually is the reality, what actually create the problem. And if you have the problem, then you trying to seek the truth to find a solution for the issue. And it's the same thing. If you can't control someone, let's say for example, you have a person who one day comes to you and it says, you know what, we are going to do this and an hour later they call you, well, listen, we can't do this. Well, the one it's truth because they said earlier that whether it's false, which is comes on later on. Now, there is a battle inside of them about the truth and the false inside of them. Is that guy that bothers you? No, it has nothing to do with you. What you have to do is you send out situations over into the universe and the universe is going to rearrange itself and it's going to determine it which one is the false each one is a truth. So if this situation has to serve some kind of purpose into the universe, it will serve that uh, kind of into the universe. But if it doesn't, then guess what? It's not. So it's not going to have the benefit into the 5D for you. And when you understand all this part of the duality, guess what? You're telling it to yourself and you stay inside of you about the truth. You're seeking this truth that it comes in from the 3D, it goes all the way up to here. Because in the 3D, everybody pretty much there, they have to lie to survive. Into the, into the 5D, everybody have to present themselves, the good and the bad, so they can choose, I can talk to these people, I can be only with that people, I can be only with them this kind of group, or I can be only with this, I can be only, only. The only, if you look at it from a 5D perspective, it's limitation. If you have the limitations inside of you, then you create the dualities, because there is a limit. And you can go from negative to the positive limit, there is a limit. If there is some kind of limit, then you ain't going to be evolved. The whole part of this is you to evolve, you to evolve into the 5D. The beauty of the 5D is when you live it into the universe, you know that the universe knows what is the best of any of the cases, any of the, your uh, situations, anything as out of you. It is so important for you to stay positive. The reason is you stay positive because you know that the universe will rearrange itself. You have the full trust within the universe and you surrender to this universe. And that's what it's talking about in the spiritualities into the religions that you, you need to surrender. But you surrendering what? You surrendering the control. Sense and the 5D doesn't have uh, the control. The control it's you know the control is belong to the universe. You know the control it's belong to everything uh, else. Once you lift it up, uh, that heavy burden that it's inside of you, it's kind of like it goes away uh, because your concern it's with someone with something that you have no controls over, and your fight to have or gain the control over it. It is the one that takes all your energies out and you're not able to sustain yourself to kind of like constantly stay into the 5D consciousness. And once you understand this part, 
your 5D consciousness will continue to work and grow and you're going to be staying in that level of the 5D which is going to be continuously improve and keeping you more steady and steady and steady. Uh, for example, uh, if you're looking for a job, uh, let's say you have a 3D problem. So here is, I'm going to just give you a little bit of example. Let's say you have a 3D problem. The 3D problem is job. Maybe you what? You lost your job, okay? Lost your job. So you lost your job. Since you have a 5D, uh, 5D understandings inside of you, some 5D things, you are like, you know what, universe, you see this. I lost my job because of the situation. Maybe the situation, the boss didn't like me. The boss didn't like me. I got fired. Since the universe knows what is it the best for you, already understands the situation, and you have to be in the 5D because of the purpose of the universe. See, you come in here in the 5D for the purpose of the universe. You're not going into anything else. The universe is giving you support. And you will understand this miracle support by working it together with the universe. That communications here, it goes on into the both ways into the 5D. That is a, almost like a permanent connection inside of the universe. So uh, the boss did not like me uh, here. So you shove this information. Like, you know what? I will do everything that it needs to. Universe, you know where it's the best case for me, the best place for me, me to be into that job. So that job can allow me to do everything that I do, everything that I did before, and to have enough so I can get support. So what happens is, is the universe says, okay, we know about this boss, we know about this situation, we know how to fix it, the truth will come out. So the universe says, this is going to be destroyed. Don't worry about it. It's not your job, it's my job. If that company's got to exist, or that guy has to be there, or this situation has to be there, that will, will exist. So the 5D connections between you and the universe, you getting yourself the inner peace. Well, where did that inner peace comes into it though? You already know how everything operates. You have, you have the 5D conscious of the way the universe operates and all the three dimensions. So you can kind of like navigate through the whole process and you just stay on uh, no matter of what the situation is, you will know how to do the things. So the 5D communication with the universe says, you know what, what are you good at? It? And you write down, for example, I'm a good at painter. I'm a good at uh, machines. I'm a good with people. So you put your skills together, you put yourself a resume, and when you get yourself the resume, it's like, okay, universe, I'll go ahead and do the job. I'll go ahead and apply for a job. And the universe says, okay, give the job. I will find you the place. And all of a sudden, a miracle happens. It will take you like a, maybe a week, two weeks to get the part. And the universe is going to put you to someone and that someone is going to tell you the words. Listen, I like you so much, but there is something weird about you. I've been dreaming about you all night. I couldn't sleep. I have no idea what I have to do with you, but I had a dreams about you all night. Who gives the dreams, eh? It's the universe. And the universe signs the information to that new person is like, he's my guy or he is my girl, you need to take care of it. And the owner of the new company says, 
I will do what's necessary you to be the way it needs to be so you can surf into the 5D. I give you a real example, I won't tell you how and why, but this is what actually happened to someone I knew. Uh, in, so we're giving you this information so you can kind of like, uh, if you're into the 5D, uh, a lot of the people to get themselves adjust, get themselves to a place where it's no more suffering here into the 4D where the most of the peoples are because most of the people the way they are is the good, the bad, the good and the bad and they create this duality that goes around and around and around evolves from the one into the other and one into the other the whole idea is that people cannot understand there is something a little bit higher there is something it's a really really little bit higher when they achieve this balance. You achieve this balance, that balance is going to be the one that stays right in here between 4 and 5D. Once you achieve this balance, you're going to be cross over. And when you cross over, you will see the things how they are. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you out. I hope when some of you are in those moments right now, this can give you a hope. Uh, this can give you a place where you can go and move up with your life. And you can go ahead and seek inside of you. Where are you standing in your conscious? Thank you so much, guys. Be love.